Hey guys, I'm Cassidy and welcome back to my channel. I want to start this video by apologizing if there's background noise. We're having some work done on our house right on the other side of my wall. So that stuff. I'm very sorry, but this is the only time I can film right now and I need to do this right here. So I'll try to talk when that's not happening, but no promises. So right now I'm gonna give you guys some tips on how to become a vegan, but transition into the diet slowly. Um, if you know, you think it's really hard to transition overnight or something and you don't really know what to do yet. I wrote down a ton of bullet point tips right here in this little video planner notebook. And I'm just gonna let you guys know what I think are the best tips for transitioning slowly to a vegan diet. And then at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you a sample meal plan for like one day. But yeah, so stay tuned at the end of this video for that. And right now I'm just gonna kind of read little bullet points to you and what I think are the best ideas. So the number one tip would be to plan before you do it. Um, if you don't know anything about veganism, you have no idea what meals to even start with. Don't just say one day you're gonna be fully vegan. That, you're gonna get confused, you're not gonna know what to eat. You maybe won't eat enough or of the right things and then you'll feel sick or something and we don't want that. So plan beforehand, even spend an hour or two literally just looking up vegan recipes on YouTube. You're on here right now, so you have access to YouTube, so go ahead and do that after this video. Um, and also maybe look up some things about the vegan lifestyle, because there's a difference between following a vegan diet versus a vegan lifestyle. Um, a vegan diet is just eating plant-based foods, but a vegan lifestyle is things like not buying leather, having to buy vegan and cruelty-free makeup, and just every other thing in your daily life, making sure that it does not harm animals and is for the most part environment friendly and things like that. Another thing is to have a couple meals or snacks that are like your go-to things if you're in a rush or you just ran out of ideas of what to make. Have like three or four really easy quick meals or snacks of things that you almost always have in your kitchen so it's very accessible for you. And make sure you like them and you've tried them before. And then also everyone usually goes vegan for a reason. I've never heard somebody say that they're going vegan for absolutely no reason. Um, it's usually either for their health, the environment, or the animals. So keep reminding yourself of why you wanted to do this in the first place. Keep looking at more facts and things like that, even if it's just one a day, about how this helps animals or the environment or something like that. Um, even if you're doing I have no idea what I was saying. Oh my god. Um, even if you, I have seen people go vegan for like social media challenges, so technically I guess that's for no reason. But even then, I, of course I don't like the idea of it just being a challenge, uh, cause it should be a lifestyle and something you choose to do for practical reasons. But of course, if somebody eats vegan for a month, that is helping a lot of animals and helping the environment a lot, so I support that. Um, but even if you're doing it for that reason, maybe look up other reasons why other people do it too. And even if you go back to eating meat and dairy, maybe occasionally you will have a vegan day. And you know, just try to really remind yourself of why you're doing it and the why it's helping a lot of causes. Um, even if you're not really doing it for that specific cause, it's still a benefit. Another thing you could do is start by replacing small things. So like for me, I drink a lot of coffee. So I started um, buying soy or almond milk creamers for my coffee or when I go to Starbucks asking for coconut milk. And that's a very easy switch that anyone can do for like smoothies or coffees. If you go somewhere, most places have alternative milks now. Um, another thing I did was have beans and nuts instead of meat as my protein. I'm someone who eats a lot of protein bars and has a lot of protein shakes. I started buying plant-based protein powders and protein bars. I used to always snack on like beef jerky or have like a yogurt or something like that. Um, and so now I've started to do where I'm eating fruits or veggies or nuts and like even trail mixes and stuff like that that don't have dairy in them as snacks instead of meat and dairy things. Another really good thing you could do is follow other vegans on social media. I follow a lot of recipe accounts and that gives me ideas for new recipes, which is really cool. Uh, and then it also makes you feel part of a bigger group because I don't know about you, but I only know like a few vegans in real life. And so it's kind of nice on social media to feel like, wow, there's thousands and thousands out here 
that I'm just following and it makes you feel not as alone if that's something you're struggling with. Also try to get others around you to do it too. I know when I first went vegan I brought that idea up to my parents and I you know, told them all the reasons I thought that this would be really good for me and, and I was just kind of asking them if we could buy some like vegan alternatives and stuff like that and that eventually turned my mom vegan as well and then my dad is like 98% vegan I'd say so he's made a lot of big changes even my boyfriend he has made huge changes at his own house and eats almost fully vegan when he's around me and that's really helpful if people around you and who you're hanging around are open to it too because then it's just you know they're open to going to vegan restaurants and trying new things and stuff um, which is just a lot easier especially when you're first transitioning um, a lot of people when they first transition they might feel left out or something like that having to go to like a full barbecue place and not having any options besides maybe some fries or something um, so it's nice to be around other people that even if they're not vegan they are open to it when they're around you also it might be difficult and confusing at first when you're going vegan when you're going into a big grocery store you don't really know what brands to look for yet you don't even know if that specific grocery store has vegan options especially depending on like where you live so at first if you have access to it maybe try going shopping online for vegan food there's a lot of sites that are fully vegan grocery stores that are online or you can even go on like Amazon fresh and put vegan in your little like specification bar thing on the side and then it comes up with a bunch of vegan foods you can try so that might get you familiar with brands so that when you go to a grocery store it's not overwhelming and you don't not know what to look for also take things out of your diet slowly um, so if there's something you literally eat every day and you've been eating it for months or something like that uh, that might be a little difficult to cut out right away um, of course you can cut out a day at a time or something but let's say you eat eggs only once a week so you're not that used to eating eggs it's literally just once a week um, try to cut that out for a week or two just replace whatever you'd eat with eggs with something else and then let's say it's that same situation where you eat eggs once a week but you eat chicken like four times a week then maybe cut out just eggs for one or two weeks and get used to that and then on like the second or third week chicken where you only eat it twice instead of four times or something like that and then obviously as time goes on cut it more and more out okay so the last bullet point tip I have which I think is very important and something I did a lot is look up how to be vegan for you specifically and what I mean by that is let's say you're a college student living in a dorm look up how to be vegan for college students living in dorms it's you know obviously if you're living in a dorm you can't cook as much as you could uh, just your house in a kitchen um, so that might be something you would look for and it would make it a lot easier for you and there's tons of videos on that or if you're somebody that eats out a lot look up how to be vegan at fast food restaurants there's a lot of replacements you can do at fast food restaurants that people don't know of that might make it a lot easier for you when you go out or for example if you're on a very tight budget look up that or if you don't have like a stove or an oven look up that now that's all the tips I came up with there's obviously a ton more I could say but those I think were the most important and easiest things you could do to transition slowly into a vegan diet now I'm gonna give you a little sample meal plan so for breakfast you could have oats cooked in a non-dairy milk and then what I like to do a lot because um, I don't like just plain oats with milk like it's boring and bland for me so I mix in like a tablespoon or two of peanut butter um, or you can do like almond butter or anything like that um, slice up some bananas and put it on top mix in some agave which is basically a vegan version of honey it's still a natural sweetener but it has sort of the taste of honey to me and like sweetens things like honey would and then add like a little bit of cinnamon and it's really flavorful it's very good try that out um for lunch a lot of the times I like having burrito bowls if you're trying to cut back on carbs and don't want a full burrito you can put beans for your protein you know add anything you would in a burrito rice salsa guacamole veggies like bell peppers or corn or... so this might be a little more expensive if you're on a budget but you can add meatless crumbles like vegan sour cream to it and that makes it really good for dinner you can have a burger and fries obviously the burger 
can't be meat, but um, you can use like a Beyond Burger patty or even black bean or veggie patties or something like that. And then just add like vegetables on top, like tomatoes, avocado, pickles, lettuce, ketchup and mustard or barbecue sauce or something like that. And then have some fries on the side. So it's the general American meal. And then again, this is optional because it is a little more expensive, but you can add vegan mayo or vegan bacon to it and it makes it real tasty. Now for some snack ideas, you can have like veggies and hummus, um, protein shakes or smoothies with obviously non-dairy milk, and then um, if you're doing like a protein shake, plant-based protein powder, and then a bunch of fruit and veggies. I like to add a lot of spinach to my protein shakes because if you just add a handful, it doesn't really make it taste any different, and it's really, really good for you. Um, now, a couple more snacks that are a little more expensive are like vegan ice cream, protein bars, or like a trail mix. Obviously, no milk chocolate. Um, there is, a lot of people think that vegans can't have chocolate at all. Um, there's a lot of dark chocolate that you can get if it's just cocoa and just chocolate, it's vegan, but um, you have to look at the labels on things because sometimes even to dark chocolate, they'll add some milk or dairy products in it. Very weird. Um, and then obviously no milk chocolate. But yeah, so that's it. I hope this gave you some ideas on how to really just slowly transition. And if you guys like this, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And thank you, I'll see you next time.